Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about cable theorem. It states that at any point on a cable acted upon by vertical loads, the product of the horizontal component of cable tension and the vertical distance from that point to the cable cord equals the moment which would occur at that section if the loads carried by the cable were acting on a simply supported beam of the same span as that of the cable. Later we can see the meaning of this cable theorem. Let us take a simply supported beam having the span L. BA and BB are the vertical reactions. W1, W2, W3 and W4 are the loads. To find the vertical reaction in the point A, that is VA, let us take a moment about B. BA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is L. All of these four loads are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. We know that we have to multiply these loads with the distance up to the point B. Let us keep the sum of the moments due to these loads as sigma mp. Since all of these loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction, sigma mb will be negative. Finally, for Va, we will get this expression. Now, in the beam, let us make a section xx at a distance of x from the point A. In this section, let us find the moment mxx. Va is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. These three loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction. Let us keep the summation of the moments due to these three loads as sigma mx. Since these loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction, sigma mx will be negative. For Va, we can apply this. Finally, we will get this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Now, let us consider a cable. Let us keep the span of the cable as L, H as the horizontal thrust, BA and VB as the vertical reactions at A and B respectively, W1, W2, W3 and W4 are the loads. Let us keep this angle as theta and this height as A. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to A upon L. We can take L on the other side. Finally, for A, we will get L tan theta. Now, to find VA, let us take a moment about B. BA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is L. The horizontal thrust H is also acting in the clockwise direction so that it is also positive and the distance is L tan theta. These four loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction. Let us keep the summation of the moments due to these loads as a sigma mb. Since all of the loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction, sigma mb will be negative. Let us divide all of the members by L. This L and this L will be eliminated. This L and this L also will be eliminated. Finally, for VA, we will get this expression. Now, let us make a section at a distance of X from the point A. Let us keep this height as B. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to B upon X. So for B, we will get X tan theta. Let us keep this height as Y. So this height should be X tan theta minus Y. Let us keep this point as C. Now let us take a moment about C. BA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is X. The horizontal thrust H is acting in the clockwise direction 
so it is also positive and the distance is x tan theta minus y these three loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction let us keep the summation of the moments as sigma mx since the loads are acting in the anticlockwise direction it will be negative for va we can apply this expression that we have derived just before let us multiply this with the x when we do that we will get this then we can eliminate these two terms we can take minus hy on the other side so it will come as positive in the simply supported beam we have derived this and we have kept this equation as number one so this term is equal to the movement in a simply supported beam at x from this we know that the horizontal component of the axial force at any section of a cable is same as the horizontal reaction h now let us read the cable theorem one more time the product of the horizontal component of cable tension and the vertical distance h is the horizontal component the vertical distance is y so hy is the product of both of them equals the moment which would occur at the same section if the loads carried by the cable were acting on a simply supported beam this is the movement from the simply supported beam at the same section it equals the product of horizontal component h and the vertical distance y in this way we can prove the cable theorem now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video